Hello, my name is Jimmy Vegas and welcome to this, the 16th in a series of video tutorials on how to create a first person shooter in Unity 5. So this episode we're going to work with um, some sprites to create some objectives in the game as well as adding in a new gun. And if you remember last episode I asked you guys which gun you would prefer to see in this episode and um, tallied it up and we've come to a machine gun. So at the end of this tutorial, when we've done our objectives, we're going to be putting in a machine gun. Okay, so first off, what we're going to do is we need to set up a little bit of GUI um, to allow us to create our on-screen objectives. So first off, let's go to Game Object, UI, and Text. I'm going to double-click on the text so we can see it on full screen. Let's get ourselves in position there. Okay, so right-click and uh, rename and I'm going to call this one um, objectives label and I'm going to call it in the text just objectives so this will be our title um, what I want to do ideally is have like a little list going down the side here and as we've done whatever we need to do it ticks off a little box so I'm going to get this in position now so I'm going to use this tool here, drag it up to about there, drag it out slightly. Let's format our text to white. Let's increase the size to, let's say, 20 maybe. And what I'd like to do is start using some fonts. So right click, create folder, and let's have fonts. Now I'm going to bring in a font that I have selected from um, the internet. It's a commercially free font. Um, it is this one, Neuropolitical. I'm going to drag and drop that into Unity here. It doesn't actually need to be installed on your machine. You can literally drag and drop. Um, I'm not going to distribute this on the website um, just in case, but you can probably Google search that name and you'll find it somewhere. I think I got it from 1013fonts.com possibly something like that but you can use any font if you don't like the look of this font you can use any so make sure you're in the objectives label text box and drag and drop onto the font and you'll see it change no problem looks fine so the next thing I'd like to do is try and make this look well make this whole look a little bit nicer so I'm going to right click on there UI and I'm going to add a raw image I'm going to drag it down to just below the objectives box and align it just a little bit longer to about there. Uh, what should we do? Should we have this? Um, let's have a, a kind of a blue color going on, or should we have it white? Let's have a look what that looks like now in game. So when it plays. Okay, so I might just leave it as white. Okay, so what we're going to do now is I am going to import a couple of textures. So in the textures folder, I'm going to bring in the tick box. Um, in fact, I know what we'll do. We'll have this as our divider image. I had already planned that. So I'm going to bring in blue tick, divider image, tick box into Unity, into Textures, and you can see there it's imported blue tick, divider image, and tick box right there. So on our raw image that we have there, I'm going to drag and drop this divider image onto the texture. It changes it to look at least somewhat better than just a white strip. So it splits up what we're doing here. Next thing we need to do is let's add in a new text box under Objectives. So right click, UI, text. Now this text is going to be what we want as our first objective. So what can we have as our first objective? Let's have it as pick up gun. So let's change the text to pick up gun. Let's arrange it just about somewhere there I think. So let's change the font again. Let's have it matching. So on there, let's change it to white. 
And I think we'll have it smaller than our actual objectives logo right there. Let's shrink it a little bit. So next thing, I'm going to right click, uh, rename, and I'm going to call this Objective 01. Now inside this Objective 01, what I'd like to do is add in um, a texture. It's going to be, but this is where the sprite comes in. So if we right, uh, so we go to our textures and we go on to our tick box, we go on texture and we need to go on sprite 2D and UI. Now you'll notice here we have sprite mode single. Now although we are only using uh, a single sprite in this, what I am going to have to do here is change it to multiple. And you can see that gives us an option for sprite editor. Now the sprite editor is a way of kind of splitting this particular sprite so as it doesn't have all this black around the edge and we can just have the sprite that we need. So click on sprite editor, you might need to click on apply just there, and click on slice and slice again. And you should be able to see that it has sliced everything there, so click on apply. And when you click on apply, you should notice on the texture itself, it now has a little arrow next to it. And you can see that it's kind of sliced out that tick box that we want. So you can close that sprite editor now. Now what we need to do is we need to drag and drop this onto um, a texture which we have on pickup gun. So right click, UI, raw image. And I'm gonna right click and rename and call this um, tick box. Let's shrink it to size. Oh, oops. Let's align it to where we want it to be. Let's zoom in a touch there. So I think it's going to have to be square. So let's make sure it is square. Let's have it. I want to put it um, 30 by 30 for now and just see how it appears. So let's have that about there. Let's move this along a little and just arrange everything nicely. Okay, about there, that's fine. Next thing, you need to drag and drop this sprite onto the image over here via texture, not the main image. So if we drag and drop, let's try that again. Okay, that's not quite working. So we can do that one. You can see it does that. You can do that if you want to. Um, I think, why is this not working? Okay, it doesn't quite seem to be working as I intended with a sprite, so we might just leave a sprite for now because we can come back to it at some point. Um, it should be working just fine, I would think. But it doesn't want to uh, doesn't want to drop on there, but for now we'll just go with what we've got. There's no point worrying about it too much. The box looks fine as it is. So we have our tick box there. <coughs> Excuse me. Next thing we're going to need to do is we need to put in the tick, which is this one itself. So I'm going to Control D to duplicate that tick box, right click, uh, rename, and I'm going to call it blue tick. And I'm going to drag and drop onto there. And you can see that's ticked the box. So let's now arrange it correctly so as it's a nice size. I'll just change it to 20 by 20. Let's uh, zoom in a touch there and just arrange it how we want it. So about there looks just fine. Okay, so next thing we need to do is if we close up our objective one, click on it, and let's have let's have two more objectives just to make it a bit of a list. So in fact what I want to do is if we just drag and drop this so as it aligns a bit more neatly. There we go, that looks a bit better. So oh, before we do actually we will click on blue tick and uncheck that. So now let's duplicate our objective 01, drag down, and this is going to be objective 2. And let's have this objective 2 as, what can we have it as? Let's have it as open the door. Okay, yep, that's fine. So then let's duplicate yet again. 
drag it down and rename to objective three. And let's have this as shoot target. Shoot the target. Okay, so we now have three objectives, nice and simple. So the first thing we're going to need to do to actually make these objectives work is the first one is pick up gun. So let's head to our 9mm gun. So head to scripts and we should have somewhere pick up 9mm. So let's head into that script. <coughs> Excuse me. So as always, uh, mono develop for me if you have Visual Studio, makes no difference. Uh, if you want any of these assets that I'm using, head over to the website and you can download them there for free. Just go to the downloads and assets section. So when this script loads up and we need to modify it, what we're going to do is we're going to put in another variable. So var and let's have objective complete. And that will be a game object. Like so. Now, what the game object is going to be, this uh, objective complete is going to be the tick itself. So to get around this, what we're going to do is where we've got take 9 mil, that means that we've picked it up and we're running this. So what we can do now is there we'll put objective complete dot set active true semicolon save and head back to Unity. So hopefully when we head down to our 9mm trigger, all the way down here, zoom back in. Once Unity's had a little think, really is thinking today. Okay, so you'll be able to see here that we have the objective complete trigger, uh, variable I should say, right there. So it doesn't quite want to zoom in, not to worry. Let's zoom in ourselves, shall we? Okay, right. So now we're back down to the level. There we go. Okay. So we need to drag into here our blue tick from objective one. Straight into there. And let's save our project just in case. And let's press play. When we start up, we can see on the left hand side our objectives. Now, although we do have um, open the door as one of the objectives, that we'll come to that in just a bit. But let's check out this first objective. There we go. Picked up our gun and we've got a tick on that objective. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish the rest of them. It works pretty much the same kind of way. So I'm going to get my first person controller and move it to the starting position, which I would like, which is in this room here. So the next thing we're going to need to do is we need to do that second objective, which is open the door. So to do that, we head onto here, which is the trigger to open our door. And we need to go on open door 001. And remember, we can use the exact same kind of concept. So var objective complete as a game object. And where we've got open the door here, we need to put objective complete dot set active true. So the reason I know where to put these dot set active true is the place where we realize we are actually doing the process we need to do. So for example, in this one, we're opening the door, so we are doing what we need to do. If you'd put that objective complete dot set active um, up here on mouse over, then that would be completely incorrect because it would make the tick appear as soon as the mouse goes over the trigger. So now back onto our trigger, we should see, oh, hang on, I didn't save it. Sorry, save the script, head back to Unity. And over here, we should see the, um, the door underneath there. There we go, objective complete. So we need to put in objective two, blue tick on there. So that'll make our second blue tick appear. So the third one was to shoot target. So on the target itself, we've got um, how many scripts? 
I think it was three scripts in total, wasn't it? So we've got the score scripts. So we'll start with 25. Real simple, let's add, oops, let's add the variable in. So it's var um, objective complete that's game object. So I'm going to copy that, go to our score for 50, paste that there, and do the same with score 100, paste that there. And after we've added the score, objective, complete, dot set, active, true, semicolon, save that script. Let's copy this line of code, go to score 50, code again and save, and score 25, in and save. Head back to Unity. Now we just need to sort out the blue tick on these ones here. So score 25 needs to be objective three blue tick. And the same again with target 001 in brackets one. Objective three blue tick. And for the last one, yeah, you know what to do. So let's save our project again. And now let's press play. So let's try this out. Hopefully we should get three ticks. Let's head over to our gun, pick it up, first tick, open the door, there's the second tick, shoot the target. Oh, let's pick up ammo first, eh? That'd probably help. And shoot target, ready? There we go. So we've got the third tick right there. So obviously you can customize that. You don't have to use the same textures. You don't have to use the same objectives. This is just me showing you an example of how to do it. So next thing, let's add in that gun. So we've gone on quite a bit in this tutorial, so I'm not going to go too much longer. But go onto your objects folder and you can bring in this MP5K gun. The whole folder, oops, drag and drop into Unity. Let's try that again. Drag and drop into Unity. It'll take just a second to import. So the mechanics that we're going to use uh, for this uh, machine gun is going to be fairly similar to the um, handgun that we've had previously. Just we're going to be obviously rapid firing, so we're going to need to modify it slightly. So head in and you'll see you've got a few guns there. Now this gun I have um, actually obtained from a website, so the credit goes to the guy who originally made this gun. It's not something I've made. I'm using this as um, an example. So if we go onto our M9 here that we originally created, and for sanity's sake, I am just going to reactivate it so we can see. Next thing, I'm going to drag and drop this gun. Let's not use that one. Let's use this one, I think. So make sure you use this one just here to kind of give it all the textures and everything. And let's align it correctly with our other gun. May need to shrink it slightly, I think. So 0 0.75, 0 0.75, 0 0.75. Okay, yep, that looks fine. So now drag and drop onto the first person character. And I'm going to get rid of our M9 again, deactivate, and I'm going to press play just to see what this now looks like. Okay, so let's move that into position. Oops, let me show you. I have your MP5K selected, down a touch. Let's rotate slightly and have a look. Okay, that looks fine for now. So what we're going to do is, I think best thing for us to do at this point is where we have um, our UI stating, um, let me see which one is it, in here where we've got the 9mm our ammo label, let's duplicate that and let's have that renamed as 9mm 
label and this one as SMG label. So submachine gun label. And then let's change the text to SMG. So ultimately we have our new gun in now and um, what we'll do finally um, in this tutorial before we finish is let's head back to our um, trigger for our 9mm and I'm going to disable this MP5K. I'm going to duplicate this crate, move it just over here. I'm going to put this, the dummy MP5K, on top of the crate. So let's rotate it on the. Um, let's have it like that. Shrink it. So 0.75. Oops. 0 0.75. 0 0.75. 0 0.75. Place it on top of the crate. Looks a bit big for the crate, but that's not to worry. That's fine. It's not a big deal. And lastly, we've got pick up nine millimeter trigger. I'm going to duplicate that. And I'm going to bring it over on top of this crate. About there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create um, a virtually identical script to our um, nine millimeter script. Firstly, let's quickly rename that. So rename, let's have that as pick up SMG trigger. And this pick up 9mm script here, hold control, press D to duplicate. And after Unity's had a little think about it, as it does every time you do anything with a script, um, let's rename it and pick up. SMG and let's head into that script and let's modify it. So it's as you can see it is almost identical to the uh, well it will be almost identical to the um, 9mm except let's change this instead of take 9mm pistol let's have that as take SMG and to be honest I think that's all we really need to change. Um, we don't need to change too much else there. That should be fine. Okay, so let's save that script. And on the pickup SMG trigger object, drag and drop that pickup SMG. Drag and drop onto the object. Now you may be wondering why I haven't removed this script just yet. The reason I haven't done that is simply because it's a nice little trick that I like to do if we're doing something like this. If we go on to, for example, this here, which says text display and click on the object, it highlights in yellow what it is. So let's drag and drop that text because that's the one that says pick up the gun. Fake gun says M9. So what we need to put in there is this fake MP5K. Real gun is the one that's going to be in our first person character. Ammo display. Now here we have our display's 9mm label, so we need to have the SMG label. Pick up audio. I'm going to keep the audio the same for now. We may change it in the next episode, but for now, for convenience sake, I am going to keep it the same. Let's put that in there. And then objective complete is going to be the same because we're still picking up a gun. So now once we have all our um, variables stated there, we can actually remove this pick up 9mm script. So we can right click, remove component, and let's save our scene. So now when we press play, we've already established that we can pick up our 9mm gun. So let's try and pick up our submachine gun. There we go. Okay, so we'll leave that there for now. Next episode, um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be learning some more mechanics of this particular a gun. We'll be learning how to do the rapid fire and how to keep it firing until it runs out of ammo. Um, another thing that I want to look at is um, problems with clipping. Um, you may have noticed at this point, if um, we pick up a gun, let's pick up our 9mm pistol, it kind of clips through the walls. So we, we need to stop that happening. And it should actually happen with the SNG as well, I believe.
In fact, I, I know for a fact it will. So it'll clip through walls. It'll it'll just do that. It looks silly. That's not how you want your game to look. So next episode, we'll be going through um, a process to stop that ever happening. Um, it's not too complicated, but it's, it's a nice little process to use in pretty much any first-person game. So until the next episode, um, you build up your objectives. You, In fact, you even have a go trying to create your own rapid-fire weapon. Um, if you succeed, brilliant. If not, I'll show you next tutorial anyway. So until then, thank you very much for watching.